Netflix's sixth season of The Crown is set to feature Kate when she was a teenager, and could depict her early days of romance with Prince William. While there has been no official confirmation the Duchess will feature in the season, a royal expert has said her image is perfect ahead of its broadcast. Royal expert Grant Harold said Kate would have nothing to worry about should she be portrayed in the final season of the hit Netflix drama. Mr. Harold, the former butler to Prince Charles, said, Kate doesn't have much to worry about, her PR and image is perfect. There is nothing not perfect about her. At the end of the day, it's PR. Some bits are historical and some bits are drama, the palace has always been keen to remind people it is drama. Speaking to OK Magazine, Mr. Harold added any person playing Kate would not take on a negative character. He said, it will be positive. So they may well see it as good PR. There will be an interest for them and she is likely to come face to face with the actress that plays her at some point at an event. The former butler added Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, met Emerald Fennell, who plays her in The Crown recently, and the meeting appeared to have gone well. He told the outlet, the Duchess of Cornwall actually met the actress who played her in The Crown a few weeks ago. The actress has not said what was said, but Camilla was happy to chat to her. Earlier in April, casting director Kate Bone issued a call for actors to play William and Prince Harry in their teens and early twenties in the next season of The Crown. A source then told The Sun, having the Duchess of Cambridge is an easy win for The Crown, as it will get more people watching. But since she's not a crucial part of the storyline, Kate's presence is a bonus. They'll only cast her if they can find the right candidate. Brexit live. Britain is still s Remona's can't resist swipe Meghan Markle branded figure of fun after taking on Queen controversial Windermere bungalow demolition plans given the go-ahead Netflix's fourth season of The Crown, which was released in 2020, covered the period between 1979 and 1990 and introduced Lady Diana Spencer. However, Charles' portrayal in the show by Josh O'Connor, caused controversy due to the Crown's depiction of the Prince of Wales' marriage to Diana. Royal expert Hugo Vickers, who has written about Queen Elizabeth and the Queen Mother, told Vanity Fair Monday, they always liked to portray him as a kind of wimp. This time, though, he's not only portrayed as a wimp, but also as a very angry, unpleasant person yelling at his wife. Some of the looks he gives Diana, you begin to wonder whether in the next season we're going to catch him conspiring to have her murdered in a tunnel in Paris, or something ghastly. I wouldn't put it past them. On the crown, it's really, really disgraceful what they've done to him in this season. Rose over the crown in the UK led to Oliver Dowden, former culture secretary, weighing in in 2021. He said Netflix should include a disclaimer at the beginning of each episode of the series telling viewers it is fictional. He said, it's a beautifully produced work of fiction, so as with other TV productions, Netflix should be very clear at the beginning it is just that. Without this, I fear a generation of viewers who did not live through these events may mistake fiction for fact.